Today I talk about life cornerstones and what that means and why I think they are extremely, extremely important. Welcome to episode number 27 of the Ian Luber's journey. So recently I've been noticing a trend and it's a trend that in my own life I've I've observed all the way back since high school and even even before then but in high school I particularly acutely began to notice it and the trend that I'm talking about is when certain key areas of my life get out of whack particularly sleep nutrition exercise and meditation things tend to go downhill or I just don't feel right and it's one of those things that I learned the lesson, you know, I'll go for a period in school with not enough sleep, or I'll skip exercise, or I'll get off my diet, and I'll always regret it. And I'll always have to get back to my normal cornerstones, as I call them. And I'm always far better off when I get back to these. And it's one of those things where I almost hardly believe that I, I fall into them over and over again because I've learned the lessons to such a, an intense degree. And that's why I, I call them cornerstones and, and I, I've come to view them as deeply, deeply important in my life. And I've actually created non-negotiable parameters. Uh, and those are, for me, uh, I have to sleep enough, which is typically eight hours. I, I, I can't go more than or less than six days a week with full eight hours of sleep. Um, my diet, I can't eat junk food, I can't eat unpaleo food, except for on very special occasions, and, and that should be small. And meditation, so I actually like to meditate a lot, because um, I've had I've battled depression and things like that in the past, and meditation always keeps me way, way ahead of that in an incredible state, and so I like to meditate two hours a day. And if it ever, even in busy times, I try to get that in. And the lowest that dips is probably around, uh, well, the lowest I, I'd, I'd like it to dip is, is about 20 minutes a day, although I sometimes just skip days um, and I don't feel as good. And finally, exercise. So I exercise, you know, lift weights at least uh, three times a week. And I also dance, of course, and, and run and stuff like that. But the lesson here and the lesson for me, and everybody has their own versions of their cornerstones. Um, these are super common, but, but other people might have different ones uh, or additional ones. For example, I know some people who have to run every day. If they don't go on a run on a particular day, it's not going to be a good day. And there are all sorts of things that people have. For some, it's reading. For some, it's uh, talking. For, for people who are uh, probably more extroverted than me, they have to have, you know, engaging conversations every single day. And cornerstones are super important because they're, they're things that we don't necessarily notice immediately when we, when we get off of them. And that's, that's why they're so easy to slip off of because we might not necessarily notice um, if we take one day and don't sleep enough, or skip one day of exercise, or for me, I don't. I usually don't feel it at all if I skip a couple days of meditation, I usually still feel fantastic. It's only over time, it's only after, it's been a week after that, or I've, I skip a bunch of days of these cornerstones, that I realize I'm living life at a dramatically, dramatically lower level. And I always realize it's just not worth it. It's never worth it except for in extreme rare circumstances in which it, it is absolutely worth it to cut out one of these cornerstone things, which do happen you know, every once in a while, like true emergencies, but those are pretty rare. Now, what's different is, is your mind rationalizing skipping one of these cornerstone things. So for me, that's you, you have a busy day today, you can skip your meditation session and dive right into work. That's very easy for, for me to convince myself of, but it's not true. It's never worth it in the macroscopic picture. And so today's video is all about the idea of cornerstones. What are your cornerstones? I would love to know. Uh, mine are sleep, exercise, nutrition, diet, and meditation. 
and if I ever fall off of, it, off of them, uh, even for a day, I'll feel it later on, uh, particularly if I fall off of it for longer, and I constantly remind myself that these are the non-negotiables. This is as low as it goes. This is the bottom. Barring an emergency, you can't sacrifice your diet, sleep, meditation, or exercise. And I think that's a really important lesson, and that's one I remind myself of constantly. I hope you found this video interesting, and we'll talk tomorrow.